And it's time to talk time at this time, right now in time and space. It's time to talk about time. So what is time? In music, time is just like time is in general existence. So I'm sitting here looking at my camera. You're sitting there or standing, whatever you're doing, looking at your phone, watching me sit and stare at my camera. And as we sit here and do these things, existence is carrying on and passing. That's, that's pretty much what time is. There's some key terms that we have to define to really understand how the timing in music works and how we can talk about it and better improve our timing on whatever instrument we're playing, whether it happens to be bass, like the one hanging in front of me that you can't see, or any other instrument. First word, word number one, beat. There's a good chance that when you hear the word beat, you think of something like this. That's a smooth beat. But that word is a little misleading because in modern context, a beat definitely means like a hip hop groove or it could even be like the basis of a song. Oh, that song's got a great beat. And they're talking about the drum part and the, and the bass and the rhythm guitar, whatever else. But really in music, the beat is just the steady pulse. So if I play this beat, <laughs> that's why this gets confusing because this is a drum beat. We would call it a drum beat, but it has a beat. One, two, three. Oh, that's the beat. So even just my little demonstration there shows how confusing <laughs> that word can be when you're trying to understand music. Uh, so from this point forward in this video, when I use the word beat, I'm not going to be referring to this. I'm going to be referring to the steady pulse. One, two, three, four. So you can think of the beat as our foundation of our time in music. The next thing to think about, rhythm. Now, what is rhythm exactly? The way I like to define it is basically just rhythm as combinations of long and short notes or short notes with various lengths of spacing between them. So basically it's, if here's our beat, well here, I'll, I'll we'll make a little example. Here. I will record a drum part, a drum part. It is not a beat, it is a drum part. I will record a drum part. Gotta get the drums going, all right. So here's our beat. One, two, three. Got our little hi-hat sound. I'll record something like this. So now we have this hi-hat part. One and, and, E, four. One and, and, E, four. Our steady beat is underneath in that bass drum. One, two, three, four. And the hi-hat is making that little groove above it. And so that's a rhythm. And I'll add another rhythm here on the snare drum. Uh, just kidding, that was maracas. Or a shaker, I hit the wrong button. Two. Three. So now we got this little drum groove. Notice I didn't use the word beat. We got this drum groove going. There's all these parts. That accidental shaker was fire. So there's a little example of a little drum part I just composed. It's not a beat. Okay, it's, it's a drum beat, but it also has a steady beat. But I'm not going to call it a drum beat. It's a drum groove. It's a drum composition. It is a MIDI electronic instrument composition, not a beat. The beat is in the bass drum part. Three, four, one, two, three. So all those other notes that are coming in and weaving around that beat, that is the rhythm. So we have beat, our steady pulse. One, two, three, four. And we have rhythm. Combinations of short, long notes, short, long spaces that weave around our beat. And all of this is happening <laughs> as time is passing. In fact, the tempo this is at is 90 BPM. So I recorded this crazy hi-hat thing. So those notes, that rhythm is a really fast rhythm. But our tempo is still the same as the first section. 90 beats per minute. We're sitting here. Time is passing as we listen to this drum composition. First part. 
So even though our rhythm is much faster because it's got the beat, if you listen to that bass drum part, is still the same. Still 90 BPM. That's actually something that gets a lot of people confused, I've found, is they hear something really fast and they're like, oh, that song is so fast. But what they don't realize is maybe they're just hearing 30 second notes on the hi-hat or guitar lick or something. And really the actual pulse, the beat that's underneath it, isn't that fast at all. And there's other cases where you have a fast tempo with a slow rhythm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're at 170 beats per minute on this one. So another term we can talk about is measure, which is just the groupings, how our group, how our beats are divided. In this case, there's four beats in one measure. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's a two bar pattern, two measure pattern. Yeah, measure, bar, they mean the same thing. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So if I hear something, if you hear something like this, let's. That has a really slow feel, right? But I can play it over this the same way. Watch. Two, three, four, here we go. Bam. So I played the exact same kind of feel on that Warlitzer part, but with that really fast beat underneath. Uh, uh, with that really fast drum part underneath. So the beat was one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But I was playing, I was holding out each chord for two measures. Let me, let me show you again. We got F minor, one, two, three, four, one, two, E flat minor. F minor again, back to E flat. Even though the notes were slow, they were long, they were drawn out, the beat underneath was the same. So there we go, fast beat, slow rhythm. Earlier we had slow beat, fast rhythm. So let's review the terms we've talked about. We've talked about time. In music, just like reality, is just the passing of existence. That's pretty deep. Next is beat, which is the steady pulse, not the drum groove in this context of this video. As soon as this video is over, you can go back to calling it beat. I mean, drum groove. So next we have rhythm, which is how slow and fast the note patterns are. And then the fourth is tempo, which is how slow and fast the beat is. Watcha! Are there more words? Measure. Time, beat, rhythm, tempo, measure. Measure is just a word for the grouping of the beats, how we divide them up, which is a perfect segue to talking about time signature. So time signature. Time signature, you may also heard the word meter, uh, are very related. They're, in fact, they kind of are the same thing. Um, when we refer to the meter of a song, we're talking about the time signature. We're talking about how the measures are grouped. Everything I've done so far, I would say, is in 4-4 four, four time. So the top number tells us how many beats per measure. The bottom number tells us which type of note gets the beat. So in this case, we're talking about four beats per measure. Each beat is a quarter note. Now, if you don't know what a quarter note is, or you don't understand what a quarter note is, but you've heard of it, or you don't know the other notes, then you need to check out like, comment, and subscribe if you dig what you're seeing and you chill with this vibe. This video that I'm going to put on the screen somewhere right now, because it goes through all of the main notes, whole note, half note, quarter note, eighth note, sixteenth note, thirty-second note, triplets, dotted notes. All of it is in that video. Go watch it. Probably there. Right now. It's about time we talked about time. It's about time we talked about time. Here we are. The time is now. It's time to talk about time. The time is now. The time has come. It is time to talk about time. Father Time demands we talk about time.